And now moving on to the second part, which is the conflict management. According to Lao 1992, conflict management points out that a conflict can be considered resolved only when the parties have reached a joint agreement satisfying the underlying needs and interests of the parties, does not sacrifice any important values or either party, meets standard fairness and justice, is self-supporting self and self-enforcing, and is the one that no party will wish to appeal date in the future even if they are in the position to do so according to asafa 1993 one cannot resolve conflict and thus make peace unless the root causes are identified and dealt with the implication of this is that for conflicts to be resolved one must look beyond surface issues and address the substantive and emotional issues as well the parties needs and interest lasting peace between conflicting parties is possible only when deeper needs a accommodated and satisfied again according to asafa 1993 further stated it is not possible to resolve conflicts and attain peace unless attention is given to the justice and fairness of the process as well as the outcome of the settlement. In other words, peace without justice is rather meaningless concept, although this is not to suggest that the pursuit of justice and the pursuit of peace are one and the same. Although justice is an ingredient of peace, the pursuit of peace goes beyond the pursuit of justice. Peace is pursuing justice just while at the same time maintaining respect and mutuality with the person from whom justice is sought. The appropriateness of an approach to conflict management also depends on the nature of conflict. In this regard, three separate processes are involved in the interaction between conflict and parties. That is according to Walton 1987. So this is the types of conflict management in Mindanao. We have the four types. First part type is bargaining over fixed sum issues in which one party gains and another must lo lose. Second type is problem solving to resolve variables some issues in which because the principles underlying interests are not mutually exclusive. The third type is relationship structuring, structuring, a process by which parties redefine their mutual perceptions and attitudes, the meaning of their roles and relationships, and the norms that govern the other processes. Last but not the least, the fourth type is state of the relationship is a major factor determining how efficient and effective the parties will be in, be in compromising the inherent differences via bargaining and in integrating their interests via problem solving. So, the role of Maguindanawan Datus in conflict management. The Council of Elders functions when cases are brought before them to resolution. The Council consists of a Pabibit Alan, a pang pangukum, is sometimes a combination of both. Any elderly magindanawan dato may be asked to see as the pa bibiti alan. Several mediators are usually called. Preferably, those who are live in good distance from the parties are not among the interested parties to avoid conflict of interest. As mediators, their role is to assist the parties is in conflict to understand their situation, select options that make the most sense for them. During the mediation process, they listen, ask questions, summarize, help parties identify, understand the issues and conflict, identify, assess options, including non-settlement options, but they will not propose 
settlement terms, draft agreements, or make decisions for the parties in conflict. They usually begin in the mediator's diandi or diandi or opening statement. And I discussion of the gugudan, gugudan, which is the ground rules. But thereafter, the process becomes more fluid as the parties explore issues of their own interest in their own ways. As pangukum, which are the arbitrator. They are impartial in proceedings, study the evidence, and then decide how the matter should be resolved. They are not bound by precedent and therefore possess great leeway in matter such as active participation in proceedings, accepting evidences, questioning witnesses, and deciding on appropriate remedies. They possess a wide latitude for crafting remedies in the arbitral decision, with the only real limitation being what they may not exceed the limits of their own authority beyond the law of the Quran and customary laws. As Pabibiti Alan, Pangukum, their role as mediator is utilized to good effect with binding arbitration. If the parties conflict are unable to reach a solution through mediation, the council as mediator becomes an arbitrator. Shift the mediation into arbitral process, then seeks any addition evidences as needed, particularly witnesses and renders an arbitral decision. The role of Magindanawan Datu as Pabibiti Alan and Pangukum are perceived to be effective in the resolution of conflict. The set of conflict resolution processes are anchored in sh Sharia and customary law, are mutually employed by the Council of Elders. These religions and tradition values and norms are used to influence, persuade, and reunite the parties in conflict. Settlement embrace the values of justice, truth, compassion, sharing, and responsibility. <laughs>